Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, um, I'm Baroness Lovey Deluxe. This is my Glamour Circus and I do videos on hair, makeup, jewelry, photography, all kinds of products and services to get you shining inside and out. So it's been a hot minute since I've done a video. I took a long period off and uh, I think it's been three, four months and then I was kind of like doing them sporadically before that. And the reason why is I've created a new jewelry line and I've been working on that. I'm still working on that. And I'm doing small collections. I sold my first collection in the summertime to a store in Olympia called Hot Toddy. So check them out. You can see some of my vintage jewelry bibs down there. Um, and I'm working lots with rhinestones, teaching myself how to solder, uh, working with clays, doing all kinds of cool things. And as in in tune with my style and my theme and who I am. Um, it's mixed media, so it's going to be really neat. But enough talk about that. Today I'm doing a video hair and makeup. Um, it's quite early, so I'm doing a get ready with me because it seems to be the only time I can get a video in. So I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, hit that like button, hit that bell to get notifications on my latest videos. I appreciate the support. I have a ton of new followers and I appreciate you hanging in there and your comments, encouraging me to keep making videos. That was really sweet. Um, so today, as usual, I'm mixing tools, products, everything to help you get the looks you want and hopefully you can take some Something away from this video and get inspired to get dressed, do your hair and makeup. I feel amazing when I do it and that's why I do it when I get up in the morning after a shower and then, you know, funny enough, do a dog walk and all that. It may seem like a lot of makeup for some people, but I was a professional makeup artist for a long time and I did glamour photography for a long time. So you are your best sales tool. So if you're ready and dressed and anyway, I just feel good and I don't think it's over the top or too much and do you do what works for you. And that's what I'm doing for me. And so today I'm gonna to be doing airbrush makeup and traditional makeup. I love mixing mediums. I do that in everything I do, from my jewelry to my makeup to my photography. So hope it inspires you. Um, if you're interested in the products, if I've missed anything, just um, I list as many as I can below or just reach out and ask me a question. Um, so what else can I tell you? Let's get started and I'll teach you how I did this hair and makeup look and inspire you to get ready perhaps first thing in the morning like myself. Um, and thank you so much for joining me. All right. Hey guys, thank you again for joining me on this video. I am mixing airbrush with other makeup products. I'm using Shiseido and MAC today and just creating this gorgeous ombre eyed look. Um, once again, it's early in the morning and I'm about to do two dog walks and drives and, but I like to be groomed. So what can I say? I'm gonna show you what I do for a quick eye and hair and makeup look. I hope you like it. Be sure to click that bell for notifications. Oh, here we go. So I'm doing a crimson uh, eye with a longbow burgundy, and these colors are by Dynair. Always use my stencil, I love it. I'm using the one gun. Um, I've already done my foundation, which is a soft glow. I find it gives me great coverage, and I just mix a dark and a light for a quick kind of contour and out the door. And so I focus on my lower eye area. I do a little bit of a triangle. I don't go too crazy. And don't worry if you make a mess. These blend really well. I'm using the MAC Red Cherry Lip Liner underneath and just smudging that out. And that just gives me a beautiful ombre eye without too much work. And I do this with many different colors. I'm now going in with Shiseido, the Silver Highlight. Sometimes I put this underneath the foundation and spray over top. Either way, it's gorgeous and it's super light. So it gives you a fresh look. I'm going with my MAC Eyebrow Pencil, just cleaning up those edges. And then I'm gonna use um, a concealer around the brow. I find that really helps. It's really an extra step, but it's not that much work. Just gonna be a nice smooth line. And then I'll use the Benefit Brow Gel in five um, to brush it up. And I find that sets my brows for the day. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the Kiss Eyelashes. I just get the five pack. I like those for my everyday look. Um, nothing too much, uh, just, you know, I'm out and about, but I like to uh, do my eyes when I go out on my walks. What can I say when I go hiking? That's me. <clears throat> so I'm just carefully putting those on and I'm using the duo glue in the blue and white tube. That is my favorite. And then I'll go in with my liquid liner and smooth out that line just to, to cover any gaps. 
but I like to put the liner on first so that it's easier to put the lash on, especially early in the morning. It can be really annoying to try and do all this detailed stuff. Now, keep in mind, I've been doing this forever, so I hope this inspires you to try because I really feel great when I get dressed in the morning, do my hair and makeup. I'm ready to go for the day and I don't have to, you know, stop and I don't look like a crazy woman. So, um, once again, I'm going to go in and just make sure there's no hairs in that glue and pop that lash on. And there we go. So perfect. Okay. And then I'll just give that a second to dry. If you have questions about the products, feel free to put them down below. I know parts of the video are fast and parts are long, but that's just so it's not too long for you guys and I don't lose your attention. So let me know what you think. Click that bell for notifications and hit the like button. It really helps me out. So all those blushes are MAC blushes. If you're an enthusiast, you'll know. That's just a soft pale pink. And I love to do kind of higher up and then angle up and that helps um, lift the face. And then I'm doing a darker cut right underneath it and blending that all in. And that just gives me a soft contour, nothing crazy, but just a little bit just so I can create a little shape. And then I'm using my Givenchy face powder. I love putting it underneath the eyes and around the mouth and in the, the forehead. I don't like powdering my whole face. It's just something I got used to doing photography. I don't like a powdered look. That's my Shiseido Black. And I'm just going in and putting that in, sealing my lashes and using their electric blue for the bottom. Whoops, covered that up. There we go. And that just contrasts against the red and it looks really pretty. It's a subtle little effect. So there you go, ombre eyes, first thing in the morning. So now I'm gonna go in and do some soft lips. Yes, I do my lips. Um, I do a brown NYX liner, and then I blend that out by using their matte um, velvet lip um, product. I'm gonna, it's called London. It's super nice. It's a soft matte lip cream, that's what it's called. So as you can see, that came together really well. It's an easy, soft look. Too much makeup for some, not enough for others, but perfect for me and for my walk this morning. So I'm gonna use, now the hair to me still looks kind of messy, but it's a quick, I have curly hair, so this is my hair done on a day where I'm super active and I like it. So I use a Conair mini iron in the front for my bangs, spray with a humidity spray, and then I section off and do wide sections when I want a flat iron kind of straight haired look. If I was gonna be a perfectionist about it, I would spend a ton of time and really flat iron it, but I am going for two more walks. So I know my hair will get wavy again, and when I come home, I'll probably re-iron it just lightly. But this gets me out the door looking good and feeling great. And the trick to this is, and if you have curly hair, wide sections with a wide iron. And I do have it on the highest heat setting. I don't have time to waste, but I have a heat protectant on my hair from when I blow dried it. And then I also use the humidity spray and then I spray after just to seal it a little bit. As you can see, it's getting it nice and smooth. And I mean, you can spend all day straightening your hair. So I just do enough to get me out the door. And then I go in and do the sections on top. They've been layered. So I have more height in my crown, which I really like. And I will iron in opposite directions just to get that height naturally flowing and popping up. And as you can see, I'm kind of doing it all on one side now. And then I will grab the crown and pop it up. And that's my Sebastian spray just to kind of seal it. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. If you have questions, leave them down below.